Hello everyone, my name is Heaven Travino and I am a peer advisor with the Palo Alto College Seed Advising Center. Today we're going to be going through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to register for linked courses. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your browser and you're going to search for the Alamo College's website. To do this, all you have to do is type in www.alamo.edu. The very first link that comes up titled Alamo College's District is going to be the one that we select. This brings you to the home page of the Alamo College's website. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, there is a login to ACES option. We will be clicking here. This brings you to the sign in page for your ACES account. You're going to go ahead and enter your unique username and your password. Once signed in, it'll bring you to the home page of your ACES account. If you turn your attention to the left side of the screen, you will see a black toolbox. Within this black toolbox, we're going to go ahead and select the My Page tab. On this page, you can see that there is a box in the middle titled My Registration. Within this box, we're going to select the Look Up Classes option. From here, it is going to ask you to search by term. When searching for your term, make sure that you are only selecting the regular fall, spring, or summer semesters. So we're going to go ahead and select the spring 2021 and submit. Next, you will see a big subject box. And under there, you can see that there are two options. Go ahead and always select the search by college option. Now we're going to go ahead and search for the course that we are needing. So for this example, we are going to be searching up a math 1314 algebra class with a linked lab, which would be math 0114. So to do this, all you have to do is first search up the math class. So the subject box is alphabetized. All we have to do is scroll down to the M section. Once you find the class that you're needing, all you have to do is click and highlight. Next, you're going to go ahead and enter the corresponding course number. So for this specific math course, the course number that goes with it is 1314. The last thing we need to do is go to the college option. Within this option, we're going to go ahead and scroll down and select Palo Alto College. This will show us every math 1314 course being offered only at Palo Alto College for the upcoming spring semester. So you'll scroll to the bottom of the page and click section search. Next, you will be brought to a list of classes. Before I go over how to identify whether or not the class has a lab with it, we're gonna go over a few things. So a few things to look at when looking for classes is of course the days and times. The days and times are very important to make sure that they correspond with your current schedule. Whether you have work, familial obligations, or anything other than school going on, it's important that you want to select days and times that don't interfere with other things you have. So for this first class listed here, there is a TBA. A TBA means to be announced. So for some classes, you may have a TBA. This could be that the class information has yet to be decided, and you may have to come back at a later time to find out what it is. However, for this first class, there is a TBA in place because it's it is a fully online course, so this course does not have to meet through Zoom on a specific day or time, and it does not have to meet in person either. Another important thing to look at is the capacity. This is the max amount of students that are going to be able to register within that course. So for this first class, 30 students are the max amount of students able to register. Next is the actual number of students currently registered. So currently there are only six students registered for this course which brings us to the remaining number of seats available for registration. We can see here that there are 24 seats left available to register into. You can also find the instructor information and also the dates that the class will be held. It is very important to look at the dates, for example, because when you look at the spring semester, as we can see here, this is a winter semester course. 
it's also important to look at the dates because we do offer 14 week semesters along with our 16 week semester and we also offer flex one and flex two semesters which are eight weeks long so it's important that you make sure that the dates that you're registering for are a semester that you would be comfortable with taking another thing you can find is the location of your course so again this has a tba to be announced you may see this if the class is being offered in person just because maybe the information hasn't been decided on just yet However, for this course, there is a TBA because of course it is an online class, which means you do not have to meet in person. So now on to how to identify whether or not the course you are looking at has a lab that comes along with it. So for this, you're always gonna wanna look at the attributes and the attributes will always be written in red. So as we can see for this first class, it says Alamo IM direct course in online class. This has no mention of a lab or no mention of an additional math course. So this tells me that it does not fit my search criteria. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the second class. It says Alamo IM direct course. Again, there is no mention of a lab, no mention of an additional math course. So this is not what I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna go ahead and look at this third class listed. Alamo IM direct course, college level section, math 1314 plus, Math is 0114. As I said before, this is a lab class that we are going to be looking for. There are different lab classes offered for math. However, whatever lab class you need is going to be deemed by your advisor. So make sure that you do speak with them regarding your course schedule. So this mentions that it's going to have the math is 0114. So this tells me that if I wanted to take this class, I could. So I can see the dates this class is going to be offered, the name of the instructor. I can see that the max amount of students allowed into this course is 25. There are currently 18 registered, which means there are seven open spots left. I can also see that the math course is going to be held Monday and Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 9.15. So I have to make sure that I am available Monday and Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 9.15 in order to participate in this course. Another important thing to remember is that it is always, always important for you to read the fine print that's written in green. Do not skip over it, even if you think it may not pertain to you or it may not be that important. So as I can read here, I do not need to buy the book. The book and the student access code for the class is already being paid for as part of my instructional materials charge. Okay, that's great information for me to know. Next, I could read that this is a co-requisite course. Students must register for CRN 33576, which is the Math 0114 lab. So this is very important information that I need to know. This is the additional CRN that I have to input in order to register for this class. So when you're registering for linked course, whether it's a math or an English course or any course that comes with a lab, you're always going to have two CRN numbers. One CRN number is going to be for the main part of the class and the second CRN number is going to belong to the lab that comes along with it. So again, this is an important CRN number. You can either write it down, take a picture of it, put it in your phone, whatever works best for you. And this tells me that the math lab is going to be held also on Monday and Wednesday, but from 9.20 to 9.45. So it's gonna start right after my college algebra class ends. We're just gonna have about a five minute break. And then it goes on to list the information for the college algebra course itself. I can also read that this class is going to be remote instruction, so I will have to meet via Zoom during the scheduled class times, and my instructor will provide me with the Zoom link for the class. There is also this prep session information. It says before the start of the spring semester, there is a free recommended refresher session that will be offered, and it can help me prepare for this class. It will be two hours long and it's free of charge, and then it goes on to give me the information. So for those of you who maybe haven't taken a math course in a while, or maybe you feel like you may need the additional help in preparation for this course, this would be useful information for you to have. That way you can go ahead and get into this prep session. So once you have decided that a course fits your schedule and it is for you, all we have to do is go to the left hand side of your screen and in this open box, we're gonna click inside until we see a check mark appear. So like I said before, it is very, very important to remember 
both of the CRN numbers. Like I said, write them down, take a picture, whatever works best for you. If you don't have both of the CRN numbers, you will get an error and it will not allow you to register. I'm gonna go ahead and for education purposes, I'm gonna show you what that would look like. So we clicked and we selected and we have our check mark. We scroll to the bottom of the page and all we did was press register. Now, because I didn't enter that second CRN number, I got a registration ad error. So it says this is a linked course and it requires enrollment in an additional course. Both courses must be taken together. So like I said, if you don't input that second CRN that is given to you in the fine print, you're going to get this registration ad error and you will not be able to register for the course. So if this happens, that's no problem. All you have to do is simply go back to the previous page and then scroll back up to the class that you initially selected. So for this, as we can see that the check mark is still there, all we have to do is read again in the fine print, which is like I said before, and I will reiterate, it is always important to read the fine print, especially with the linked courses, because it gives you that vital information. So I can get my CRN number here. I'll write it down, take a picture and then I'll scroll all the way to the bottom of the page again, and you're going to click on Add to Worksheet. So as you can see here, there's already CRN in the first box. That is automatically put there for the um, college algebra course. So in the second available box, we're gonna go ahead and put in that CRN number that was given to us for the lab portion of this course. So the CRN for that is 33, five seven six and once you've done that and you have both of your CRN numbers inputted like you see here all you have to do is click submit changes once you've done that it should bring up a list of classes as such and you should see web registered next to the course that you selected if you're seeing web registered that means that you have successfully registered for those courses so now from here, if you're wanting to see your final schedule, all you have to do is click back to your ACES tab. So at the top of your page, you can see here I have my ACES tab. And in here, in that same box titled My Registration, we're going to go ahead and click on My Course Schedule. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and select our term again. Remember to select the regular fall, spring, or summer semesters. So spring 2021 and submit. From here, it'll bring up the classes that you're currently registered for for the upcoming semester or the current semester that you're in. It gives you the course, the name of the course, the campus it's held at, how many credits. It also gives you the start and end dates, your days, your times. It gives you all of the information that pertains to the courses that you have registered for. If you're unsure what classes you need to be registering for, please make sure to meet with your advisor. That way they can go over your degree plan with you to ensure that you are registering for the correct courses based off of your major and your possible transfer school. Thank you so much for following along with me today. I hope you have a great day.